What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally, Friday. Y'all know what day it is. There's the man. I don't even have to tell you, but I like saying it. Let's see what Hamilton's got. Come on. I'm glad you are here. Almost quitting time. Almost quitting time. Well, you ain't got rid of the box yet, so I still got a fighting chance to win it, I guess. Oh yeah, we still got some coats left. Had a couple guys look, even up more coats this morning. So don't want to wait until we get closer to being almost gone. I wouldn't wait too long. Cause... You can sell them this morning, but you won't sell yeah. them this evening. You get this <laughs> freaking hot out here. I need to turn this bad boy on right here. 40 degrees this morning and 80 degrees out there now. Yeah, that's, if I, I knew it was supposed to warm up. I didn't know it was supposed to get hot. Yeah, you know, I wore shorts today. today. Been like, Clay wore my shorts. Mm. Yeah, I'm, and, uh, I watched the weather last night because I wore britches yesterday. Hot. It was hot yesterday. My wife thought I was nuts when I pulled out shorts this morning. I was like, mm, by about 9 o'clock, it'll be, be warm enough. Yeah. Sure, it be you gotta love this too. weather. You gotta wear a hoodie and in the morning, <laughs> and, and then by lunchtime you need a thong, <laughs> thong and flip flops. Yeah, you uh, go from freezing to sweating. Absolutely. All right, so I'm, I got a guy that um, it was Thanksgiving. I gotta show you this picture. This guy had sent me um, his son made a uh, drew a picture and uh, i'm show a picture on here for everybody that you can yeah. see how it is yeah. i sent you a picture you of sent it. that yep and then he uh he sent me this video right here talking about that he likes watching her show and stuff so i'll put that in there i thought that was pretty cool that little fella took the time out of his day to do something cool mm -hmm. like that Thank you, Clay. Happy oh, yeah. Thanksgiving. Pretty special. <laughs> they look like a little nervous, but he's liking it. Though. <laughs> they did a good job. It's hard to be on camera. It is. It takes them getting used to it, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you never did really, you never did have that much trouble with it. You kind of nah. took, took it like a duck to water. Just, that's why I tell you, I'm just like a duck. Flat food didn't don't give a. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a guy who had sent me a message, and I thought, what better way to answer this question than to do it on the snap-on truck. He says, I'm looking at buying my first set of snap-on sockets. Should I buy a six point or 12 point? Buying chrome sockets. So I'll give my opinion and then let you kind of go with it. So here's my thing. If you're buying good sockets, it's got a lifetime warranty. Yep. You're only gonna have one set, buy a 12 point because you can use a 12 point on six point bolts you can't use a six point on 12 point bolts. Right. Now granted, there's not as many 12 point stuff now as there used to be, but if you work on like international tractors, for example, I had to work on a fuel pump, or you, you gotta on, have a 12 a point. A lot of diesels got 12 point stuff on them. So, and if they got a lifetime warranty, the only drawback with a 12 point is they wear out faster. Of course, yep. the teeth are smaller in it, you know, where a six point's kind of like the sides. So that was my answer to him, but I told him I would, We'll, we'll get a professional opinion. If somebody came to me and said, like, I'm going to buy a set of 38 sockets, but I'll, do I need 6 point and 12 point, I'm probably going to refer you more towards the 6 point mm -hmm. because, like I said, it does cut your usability down, obviously, because you can't use them on any 12 point sockets. But the reason why I wouldn't worry about the 12 point is because of the chances of you running into them, unless you're, if you're doing stuff where you're not needing 12 point sockets, you probably got more than one set anyway yeah. by that point. Yeah. You know, you're looking at, head bolts on some diesels or for, uh, European cars got a lot of 12 point stuff or triple square, still mm -hmm. 12 point, but they call it triple square, just different and uh, stuff like that. So I would go with the six point. And but a lot, one thing a lot of folks don't understand, like I would also go with impact sockets. Yeah, I, I, and, that's what I said. I said yeah. like me personally, what I would recommend if you're gonna buy Chrome, buy them a 12, buy your impacts and six. 
but I use impact sockets on a ratchet all, all the, the time. time. Yeah, and that's what, like, all my half inch, I do got a set of 3 8 uh, chrome semi deeps, and I got a set of uh, shorts and deeps in the quarter inch chrome. I don't have no impact sockets in chrome because. And I know I put them on my quarter inch impact. Mm -hmm. What's it putting out? 60 foot pounds of torque. Right. I mean, you're liable to break it more by this ratchet right here than you are by the quarter inch impact. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yes, the chrome is thinner than the impact, but they're a lot harder metal and stuff. Uh, and you put a half inch chrome socket on the impact, and you're going to end up busting your socket every, I mean, not, you know, bust it every time you use it. Sooner or later, you're going to bust your mm -hmm. socket because they're just that much harder. And a lot of people think that impact's harder. Well, they don't bust like that. They gotta be harder. No, it's They're total softer, opposite yeah. of that. It's, it's actually softer. That's why the anvil always swells out on them. Like yep. I have people telling me all the time, my sockets won't stay on my impact gun. I said, take a file and hit it back here because this mushes out. Yep. And it's, that's what keeps it from going down deep enough on your impact. They're like, won't it void the warranty? I'm like. I've asked Hamilton about it. He's like, nah, file them down. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put them on the grinder, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but like, I recommend, I use my, like, just like Clay, all my 3.8s, I got short semis and deeps in my 3.8s impact sockets. And I use them on my ratchets all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the only time I get a chrome out is if I can't get this thing down in the hole because it's too thick. Yeah. Now, that does happen on some instances. Uh, I haven't run into that much doing what I do because I'm working on race cars or tractor or lawnmower. Uh, well, I think, on... I think that <clears throat> was probably more so true back in the day yeah. when, like, old school impact sockets, because I've actually measured them. There's not much difference at all between the chrome and the, the There's not impact very much sockets, at all. The, as far as the thickness goes, so. And then, uh, and also, you get a lot of people that bring, like, well, I got, there's one right here. They bring a socket to you because it looks like this, or they're probably got back at the back. On it. And well, here's a one inch right here. I have people bring me sockets because they look like this. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't want it out. Like what's wrong with it? What's rusted? Well, I mean, that's your fault. It's not the socket's fault. There's rust because mm -hmm. you ain't using it. Yeah. Oil it. Yeah. Put some oil on it. Spray them down with some WD-40 or, I mean, you, if you use that, it's don't get oil and grease on that, I promise yeah. you. And, See, uh, I wipe mine off every time with tub yeah. of tiles, but I also got at one of those uh, silicone mats yeah. And I throw it in it and I spray them down and then put them back in my box. Yep. Now some people say that's kind of stupid, but I don't want like the grease and the grime and the crap to end up in my toolbox is really right. when I do it. Yeah, so. I mean, it ain't, Clay's not worried about actually getting the actual grease and oil out of here. What he's worried about, which is what a lot of people do, is they won't keep it out of their box because mm -hmm. like in your drawers, when you start getting oil and everything down in here, it's yep. hard to get that stuff out. Well, whatever. like my box that I traded into you, you know, I cleaned it before, yep. you know, we resold that box, and you could pick my drawer liners up, yeah, and it was as clean as it was. I mean, you could see the imprints where the tool was, but it wasn't like it had grease and and funk and crap. Like well, when I bought that used roll cart from Hamilton, that orange one, it took me fam three or four hours of cleaning that damn thing. But it was terrible. I yeah. had a pressure wash. I took all the drawers out, yeah. pressure washed that box. That box was bad. It was terrible. And that's why I told Clay, he asked about trading it in one time before, which he wouldn't because, I mean, that's what he uses around the shop. It's easy, a lot easier to roll that than it's a big old toe box. But, like, if you don't trade that in, I'd give you twice what you paid for mm -hmm. it. You know, because I'd like to have a white one with blue trim. Yeah. <laughs> one of the Epic carts, but whew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Them Epic carts is fine. Yeah, they they're not much different from a toolbox. That's right. But yeah, they I mean just cleanliness, and that's what a lot of people don't realize that when you go trade in boxes and stuff, and not everybody's different. I'm not a sticker person. Yeah, I don't. On like my stickers box, I got two stickers. I got the Epic roll. Cord. Well, I've got stickers on mine, but they're stuck on magnets, and the magnets is stuck on the box. Well, on my, I got two, and they're with, on the top of under the lid. There's two of them right here. It's two. They're very funny. And that's yeah. the only thing that's on my box. There's no other stickers on there. And they can be peeled off real easy. It's a pain but to get them stickers that's off. That's why there's only two of them. But I mean, I get boxes that are like. Yeah, the every, whole thing's yeah. covered in them. Well, like uh, with Wally worked here, Wally's box was covered. I don't know where I get them, like on trade in. I mean, with the stickers or without the stickers, you know? Mm -hmm. I give you $600 with the stickers, give you $25 without the stickers, you know? Right. 
Because not everybody likes the same stickers you do. Well, it's hard. It's hard to sell a box covered in stickers, you know. It looks cool, but yeah, if that's your thing, then yeah, more power to you. Like me, I like it to look nice. You know? Yeah. And some people may think stickers are nice. That's fine. Whatever you like. Whatever you like. More power to you, whatever you want to do. Hammer down, hoss. <laughs> <laughs> I know trade-in yeah. value. I wouldn't want to sit and pull all them stickers off. No. Nah. You'd wear out three or four eraser wheels trying to get all that crap off well, of them. As would, if you covered the whole thing full of stickers, you probably got, I mean, you got a full day in that. Mm -hmm. I can make more money in the shop working than I would worth by saving yep. on the toolbox. I know that. That orange cart, man, it was terrible. Like I was just gonna try to clean it with tub of towels and stuff, and was it, it was bad. working. But I had to use two tubs on it, you know. So I just pulled all the drawers out, took all the liners out, laid the liners down on the concrete, blowed them off. Yeah. And then all the drawers got pressure washed, and then the inside of the box. So if you think you can't pressure wash your Snap-on toolbox, oh yeah, you can. You can. I promise you can. <laughs> well, because. You can wash them like a car, even if they're full of tools, it won't hurt them. Yeah, so. well, because the inside of our boxes and everything, of course, you got the drawers right here, so you can't see the inside, but they're all powder coated. If you do got a painted box, so they ain't got a, very many, a lot of models that's actually painted, most of them powder coated, but they're powder coated on the inside and stuff also. Yeah. For them reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I mean, they're all done by man, so you, I mean, you will find them where they miss spots and stuff like that now my drawer slides all may go out because i pressure washed them too because they had grit and funk in them <laughs> i might want to pb blast the hell out they of them. seem fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah I might spray some lubricant on them for sure yeah, I, I sprayed some like free all or something on them but yeah whew, man i would not want to clean another one of the boxes up that bad again yeah like you i got, got a deal sheet, on that though. box i think it was a thousand bucks or something on yeah it. i can't remember but whew. It was cheap though. I was That's wishing sure. the time I got that damn thing clean out of this bottle new. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. But anyway, yeah. well, what new and exciting stuff you got this week? Now, as far as this week, that's what we, me and Clay was talking about a while ago. Got these old Easy Red Magnetic, magnetic Trays. Like Matco uh, Trays, ain't they? That's what, well, yeah, same thing. You just, instead of paying extra for the Matco name on it, you can buy it just straight from the manufacturer, you know? Yep, that's just like them. Except yeah. theirs is like an octagon shape or something. But it's the same one, same people make them. And the, mm -hmm. They're pretty nice. And then everybody Both has these got now. more room in them, the square ones, than the, the octagon shaped ones. And uh, I'm getting these right here, the Easy Red Neck Lights. Same as their Snap-on lights, same as the Matco lights. Yep. I think even Cornwell has them mm -hmm. now, too. Man, them and things right there are fine. Oh, these are. I yeah. wear mine on my hat, though. I put them up here. And Except everybody's like, why do you wear them like that? I said, well, when you've got them on your neck, it's not always shining where you're looking. But if, if you, you put them up down. there, it's yeah. always looking where you're looking, unless you're cross eyed. I seen, <laughs> I seen where the guy is taking these in, uh, apart and putting them on remote control cars for headlights and oh, stuff. Oh, heck yeah. He's, I guess I don't know what he's doing with the remote control cars or whatnot, but mm -hmm. he's using them on the uh, for headlights. Them things will run a long time too. Yeah, it's they actually will. surprising yeah. how long they'll last. Like mine has got used so much, which now I bought it. You know the Matco branded ones when they first come out. Yeah. But my left one will go out before my right one now, so I guess that battery's going bad in it. But <laughs> well, if you need to look at, at least the left you only more. got half ease. You know, you're Still only halfway in the dark, not 100%. <laughs> Still got some light. <laughs> like when it goes out, you know it's time to recharge. The other one's not far behind. <laughs> but yeah, those are really good lights. Yeah. So how much do them run a set? These right here? Yeah. I've, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're running about 28, 30 bucks, somewhere around there. God, well, that's cheap. Yeah. They're pretty nice. A I'd lot cheaper than other branded the ones. Truck branded ones. Yeah. Which I guess that goes with anything. Oh yeah, I mean, well the trucks got a, they got a lot of overhead they got to maintain and stuff. Yeah. Well, it still costs the same amount. Like if, from yeah, you know, yeah, that is it still true. costs the same amount to make the. I guess just them putting a company logo in it. The company's gonna get their cut off of it. Got the middleman in there. How much are the neck lights? I think I had to go back and look at them. See if I can tell you real fast. You got red and green. Yeah. 60 bucks. 60 dollars. Yeah, that's a lot cheaper. It's about 40 bucks cheaper. Than the snap-on ones. 
crazy thing is that's what a I sent a red pair off uh, it's been a couple months ago now of course these reds one that makes ours save the snap-on ones um, I sent one off we had to send them two easy red and they came back in the exact same package like this right here Wow, they didn't have red snap on, on name then on had the snap on name on them when I got them back. I bet that probably pissed the customer off, didn't it? I, well, he he didn't know it at the time. Like He's like, why they do that for? Like, well, I mean, these are the one that does that. Apparently. They must have had some kind of contract or something. They only made them for so long or something. Yeah, but I don't as know. As long as they, they warranty them out, it don't really matter. Yeah, I, guess, I mean, they know. sent me another one. and But all the ones before that came back with the snap on name on them. But and that, that could one, have been an error too. Of, that could have been on that side. Red. That's the last one I sent in. I might, when I get another one, if I have to send them in, that we'll find out the, on that go around. Yeah. Well, would them have a year warranty on them? They are a year warranty That's on them. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, mine's over a year old now, but <clears throat> yeah. should have sent that sun gun in and got me a new battery. <laughs> it's they probably are, uh, just the 18650 in there. I bet you can probably, probably pull is. You probably pull the end off of it. And I bet it's something. Change it out. It'd be, it'd be better off doing Solder that go spend a couple of dollars at batteries on dollar, at Dollar General or yes. Walmart or something. Well, you can probably get them in a vape store for five yeah. bucks a piece. It'd be cheaper than spending another 70 bucks on light. Yeah, no doubt. Or 130 bucks. If it's still working. Absolutely. Well, I guess we're going to get back in here and finish the day up. It's almost beer 30. We're almost there. And I'm ready for it, too. All right, guys. Y'all have a great week. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, punch that button right there. See ya.